Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this video, I am going to share all the very important real-time interview question answers and some conceptual part as well for the topic of constructor in Java. Okay, it will consist all sort of like basic, intermediate and advanced questions and answers which are very much tricky and it will be helpful if you can go through all the questions and answer before going for an interview, right? Related to Java development automation as well. So let's quickly get started. So here are the questions. So I'll discuss the question first. I'll share the questions with you guys what we are going to answer in this video. So let's go to the questions first. So the first question is what is constructor? Do we have copy constructor concept in Java? Why constructors cannot be final in Java? Can constructor be synchronized in Java? Can we overload the constructors? Why constructors cannot be abstract in Java? Why const constructors cannot be static in Java? Why or what is constructor chaining? Okay. Can we call subclass constructor from superclass constructor? What happens if we keep a return type of a constructor? What is a no argument constructor? The next question is how a no argument constructor is different from a default constructor what are the private cons what are the private constructors and where they are used or why they are used when do we need constructor overloading do we have destructors in java how compiler and jvm can differentiate constructor and method definition of both have the same class name why written type is not allowed for constructor? Why constructor name is the same as class name? And the next set of questions are, is constructor definition is binary in the class? Why compiler given constructor is called as default, default constructor? When compiler provides default constructor, when you must provide constructor explicitly, or what is the purpose of providing constructor explicitly? Can you create an object without is using a new operator in java can we use this and super keyword in a method can we have constructor in an interface can we have this and super in the same constructor can an abstract class in java have a constructor what happens when a constructor is defined as protected and here the answer goes so what is a constructor? Constructors are used to initialize the object states like methods. A constructor also contains collection of statements that is instruction or piece of code that gets executed at the time of object creation. And constructor that is a method have the same name as the class name and we don't provide any return type of the specific method being called as constructor. Next question is, do we have copy constructor concept in Java? Java supports copy constructor to, to copy the value of one object into another. In Java, we use it. Why constructors cannot be final in Java? When you set a method as final, then the method cannot be overridden by a class, right? Because anything that is final that cannot be reinitialized or cannot be overridden. But constructor by definition, cannot be overwritten right a constructor is not inherited so there is no need to make it as final so that's why constructor cannot be a final in java can constructor be synchronized in java no java does not allow multi-thread access to object constructors so synchronization is not even needed can we overload constructor yes we can overload them why constructor cannot be abstract in Java? When you set a method as abstract, then the method does not or cannot have a body, right? Because abstract method doesn't have an implementation or body itself. And then abstract method has to be implemented in latter place by overriding the class. Okay, because the abstract method, you need to implement it in a child class, right? So a constructor will be automatically called when object is getting created or is about to get created and you cannot override a constructor so abstract keyword not allowed for the constructor why constructor cannot be static in java so when a set of method when you when you set a method as static it means the method belongs to a class not to a particular object right 
the static means is only one copy of reference in the memory right so it's a property of you no know, class but a constructor is always invoked with respect to an object so it makes no sense for a constructor to be static right so what is constructor chaining constructor chaining is a technique of calling one constructor from another constructor this is used to call the same class constructor where super is used to call the super class or parent class constructor can we call subclass constructor from super class constructor no there is no way in java to call subclass constructor from a super class constructor what happens if we keep a return type of a constructor so ideally constructor must not have a return type by definition if a method has a return type it's not a constructor it will be treated as a normal method suppose you are providing a return type to a method having the same name so it will not be treated as construct because constructor cannot have return type why we will come to know in later part of this video but compiler gives okay let's come back let compiler gives a warning saying that method has a constructor name okay what is no argument constructor constructor without any argument is called no argument constructor default constructor in java is always a no argument constructor default constructor means which is provided by java itself we don't write it if we don't write it then java will provide you a default constructor right so how a no argument constructor is different from default constructor so if a class contains no constructor declaration then a default constructor with no formal parameters will be given and no throws clause is explicitly declared okay implicitly declared and if the class being declared in the par in the primordial class object basically what is that which has no super class then the default constructor has an empty body otherwise default constructor simply invokes a super class constructor with no argument right what are the private constructors and why they are used or why we use it for our specific benefits like any other method we provide the access specifier to constructor as well if it's made private then it can only be accessed from the same class right anything is private can be accessed from the within the class not from the outside the class so it is the same for the constructor concept as well if you make any constructor as private the constructor has to be accessed within the class okay so you cannot create a object from outside the class with the private constructor the major scenarios where we use the private constructor is one is internal constructor chain a second one is singleton class design pattern where you don't want to allow other class to create the constructor for create the object for that class singleton class okay from outside when do we need constructor overloading sometimes there is a need of initializing an object in different ways okay, why we need constructor overloading so this can be done using constructor overloading right because you are writing different constructors with the same name you are passing different parameters okay different constructor can be have different implementation okay and different piece of code that you want to execute at the time of object creation let's say you you are creating an object which doesn't need to get initialized some method some piece of code so you are using a simple constructor but if you want your object to get created along with that you want some piece of code to be executed and along with that you want to initialize some non static members then also you can put another constructor with parameter okay that's why we need we can use multiple constructor and we can put constructor overloading right do we have destructors in java no because java is garbage collected language because it use garbage collection and you cannot predict when or even if an object will be destroyed or not you don't know right when the object will be destroyed because it all works internally in the memory right hence there is no direct equivalence of a destructor so how compiler and jvm can differentiate constructor and a method definition of both having the same class name by using the return type right if we see that a method doesn't have written type with the same class name that means it's a constructor and if it has some written type it will not be a constructor it will be a plain method right normal method 
Now, there is a very important question. Why return type is not allowed for a constructor? Constructor returns the instance. Okay, we don't mention the return type of the constructor by writing. But constructor itself returns the instance of the class by creating an object. So, we can't specify any return type of the constructor. This is a single liner answer. But what runs behind the scene? Let's try to understand. The constructor in the runtime uses type data generated by compiler to determine how much space an object requires in the memory, be it in the stack or heap. Right? It helps with the help of compiler, it decides how much space is required because while creating an object, let's say you are initializing 10 members, non-static members, then we are not variables, sometimes 20 non-static variables or sometimes 2 non-static variables. So depending on that, it gets allocated with some memory, heap space or stack space, right? So now what is stored in heap, what is stored in uh, stack, that is not part of this discussion, but so some memory gets allocated, right? The, now the constructor is called as an internal part of instantiation and initialization process to initialize the contents of the field because your non-static members are some piece of code getting executed and that those are getting ex instantiated while the constructor is getting called right for the case of parameters constructor right? now when the constructor exits the runtime returns the newly created instance so the reason of constructor that doesn't have a return type a return value because it is not called directly by your code it's called by the memory allocation and the object initialization code in the runtime it's called from internal right so that's why you cannot provide the return type because you are not sure what it is supposed to return a constructor is getting executed parameters constructor getting executed initializing multiple values so you're not sure what is to be returned so it gets executed from internal right so that's the behind scene the order logic or reason why constructor we don't write a return type for the constructor now why constructor name is the same as the class name every class object is created by using a new keyword there are multiple ways to create an object but one of the ways to create object is to use new keyword so it must have information about the class to which it must create object for this reason both name are same is constructor definition is mandatory in class no it is optional if you do not define a constructor compiler itself will give you a default constructor right why compiler given constructor is called as default constructor because they all are default it does not have any parameter it does not have any logic it does not instantiate any uh, specific non-static variable right so those are called that's why it is called default constructor when compiler provides the first constructor only if there is no explicit constructor defined by you then compiler provide a default constructor for the class when you must provide constructor explicitly okay if you want to execute some specific logic, some specific operation that time, or you want to instantiate or initialize some non-static variable at the time of object creation, then you should use constructor explicitly, right? Can you create a, an object without using a new keyword? The answer is yes. There are multiple ways as I, have, as I was mentioning previously. One is you can use new instance method. One is using clone method when you're cloning object using deserialization also you can do that and if you're creating a string and all those are string and class and you're creating object for this right can we use this and super both the keyword in a method no we cannot use this keywords in a method okay can we have constructor in an interface no we cannot have constructor defined in, in the interface okay and can we have this and super in the same constructor? The answer is no. This is very tricky. Why we cannot do that? Because we cannot have this and super in the same constructor. Reason being, when you are using this or super, okay, then that should be the first statement in the constructor or first line in the constructor. Suppose you have a constructor called A for a class A. If you are using this or super, 
that step super or this has to be the first line and if you are trying to use both at the same place both cannot be in the first line right so one so first you have to write either super or either this second so like this you have to you have to in that case if you want to use both super and this you have to use one by another right but in java you cannot have this or super keyword as the second line in any constructor so, so both cannot be used in the same constructor at the same time can an abstract class in java have a constructor yes abstract class can have a java can have a constructor okay in java what happens when a constructor is defined as protected in general protected method can be accessed by other class in a different package only through inheritance right if it is a class if it has parent child mechanism right but when you assign protected access specifier to a constructor it behaves a bit different it can be accessed only by a call called super okay not directly or by any other means so that's all guys from this uh tutorial okay if you do like the video please share it with your friends if you do have any question comments session and if you do have any feedback okay please put them in the comment box or simply say hi okay and if you have if you want to know more about some specific topic and all please put them in the comment box them too as well okay do subscribe to my channel for further subsequent interesting videos. Thank you and have a nice day.